How to get the speed of an object moving in a circular path. Okay, the way you want to do this is you want to get the object's distance traveled, and each time it goes around, that's one circumference, and divide that by the time. So we're going to pause our simulation, start our object just to the left of the y-axis, start our timer, and start counting. So we've got one trip, two trips, three, and four, and five, and six. So that's six revolutions in 15.53 seconds. So now we just need to figure out how far each revolution is. So we could estimate the radius of our circle at around two meters. So we do 2 times pi times the radius. So in this case, that would be 4 pi. Then we multiply by the number of times we went around. And then we divide by the time. This will get us our speed. So again, we get the radius of the circle. Multiply by 2 pi to get the circumference. Multiply by the number of trips. That gets us our total distance. And finally, divide by the time. This is how we get the speed of the object moving in a circle.